Hey everyone, welcome to another class of the Cherry Top Crafts. I'm Rachel. And I'm Jessica. And today we will be doing mixed media painting. Um, there are a lot of, we'll be using the stencil, stencil butters, butters yeah. and the color sparks from the, the crafters, the workshop. crafters yep. workshop. Yep, these are a lot of fun to yeah. play with and they come in such pretty, pretty colors. Um, so we'll be using those and stencils. We have a lot of stencils to work with. Uh, large shaped large stencils. stencils. You can really use whatever stencils whatever you, you have. have I have some script stencils. Um, uh, palette knives. Yep. You got a palette knife or two. Or uh, three. A spray bottle. Um, maybe some paint brushes. Mm -hmm. um, um, oh, and then what we're going to be coloring and painting on um, mixed media boards. Um, the Crafters Workshop has a 12 by 12 and a 6 by 6. So you can use those and also You could also use watercolor, uh, watercolor paper, paper um, or mixed media paper, something that's a bit thicker Thick. and mm -hmm. will hold up. Um, yeah. We were looking at what we'd made before. I turned, mm -hmm. this is one, uh, I, really I made like it that, into yeah. a book. Um, I had two paintings using the techniques that we'll be showing in this class. Um, and I did it on watercolor paper, so then I glued them to make the covers of this book. Mm -hmm. I want to do that to one of my books. <laughs> yeah. So it yeah. doesn't have to be like just a painting. You can mm -hmm. put it in a notebook. You can make it a cover of something. It can be a background to a card. Yeah. Scrapbook layout. This yeah. one was just really fun. It was just a cute little board. That's all I really did with it. And I like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that one is really pretty. And this one is very, it's very bright and in your face, but it's very like, springy summery warm <laughs> it's not very warm here in michigan no <laughs> we can pretend in our art yes we pretend yeah all right so what are you going to start with first i'm thinking i wanted to use this scripty text and mm -hmm. i want to layer it on top of my stencils something sort of like this okay yeah I like um that. have some flowers in the background i like that i'm gonna start with the uh, the big board the big guy mm. and i'm thinking i really want to use this big big flower stencil yeah that's and a cool stencil i'm kind of thinking of like using all the colors and doing like a rainbow flower that'd be pretty yeah that'd be we'll very see how cool. that goes yeah and you'll see as we start using these yeah. stencil butters they're really nice to work with. They're yeah. very creamy. Um, they dry pretty fast. Yeah, and they do have that little bit of extra texture that you get from using a texture paste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're very nice. Also, I find them easy to clean off too. If mm -hmm. you just like put your stencil in a little cup or a bath of water. Yeah, we just have a <laughs> we have water bucket here. here, so we it looks like it. we're just throwing stencils on the ground. It's actually in there. Water bucket. Water bucket. Um, so we're going to start with uh, using Water the color, color sparks mm -hmm. first, and that'll be our main background. So if you don't have these, um, you can use whatever watercolors you have on yeah. hand. You can even play with different inks, like the oxide inks, and add water to those. You just mm -hmm. want a nice watery background. Mm -hmm. Just so there's some color back there when we start layering on with the mm -hmm. pastes. And these are really these are really fun to play with yeah <laughs> because I, they're they're powders like you just yeah. shake it on it's powder and then you spray it or wet it however you want and it magically turns into well watercolor yeah <laughs> yeah and you really don't That's need really much at all yes. to get to get the party going because yeah, I don't even know what I don't really I know what use. colors I want to use either. I guess I'm kind of going blue and green. Okay, Mostly I think I'm gonna blue. do some Ooh. wisteria, and you kind of just like tap yeah, it. lightly tap around. Yeah, and these sparks are really cool because it looks like multiple colors when you spray it. Um, so like this background, I'm pretty sure I just used the blue. But it's like oh. you get little hints of purple and little hints of green, um, which yeah, is just really, really nice. cool. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I think I might have used the yellow and the reds here. Mm -hmm. But yeah. This like looks green almost with the powder for the turquoise. Like oh, when it comes yeah. out, it looks yeah. green, but it's it will show up as turquoise. Yeah, so like 
Here, you can kind can of you see. see it? It's just you need hardly powder. any. Just some little and sparkles. Don't, don't blow it off yet. Oh, yeah. And then don't breathe on it. Um, Watch you can water. always add more too once you start adding the water. Yeah. And you can kind of see, you know, how much. Let's it spray needs. at the same time. Ready? Okay, ready. One, One two, two, three. three. And you can see it's just magic. It's so magical. Ooh, I'm really liking that turquoise. Yeah. You have a bigger sprayer than me, so <laughs> you're cheating. <laughs> I have a just like a really small yeah. bottle. Works fine too, but ooh. Okay. I'm liking that so far. But I want to cover more. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to get like a background, a nice full background. I can't reach that. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna put two parts. And then especially my edges. I'm going to go in with a paintbrush and kind of blur around some of my edges just so the background is fully covered. Yeah. I really like these two different. Yeah. Oh, Betsy said it's pretty. Thanks, Betsy. Thanks for watching, guys. Have you ever used any of these stencil butters or, or the color sparks? Really fun. Or like um Nouveau also has some colored pigments um yeah there's a few other brands too i mostly have used the color sparks mm -hmm. and i've i've just really liked them they're so fun i like them okay i'm gonna get my paintbrush too and this is such an easy beginner friendly watercolor background mm -hmm. um, you just sprinkle and then spray and there you go a one of a kind you can leave it like that you yeah. can paint on some more water do what you want yeah kind of just make it up as you go yeah that's usually you, my motto if you don't know what colors to go for um mm. like rachel and i both went for the cool colors and the mm -hmm. cool colors are like your blues greens purples um so those will look good together or you can go for your warm colors like on uh, the other the larger painting we showed which are your reds mm -hmm. oranges and yellows yeah those will blend nicely together or just fit, pick your two favorite colors and see yeah. how they look together yeah. i tend to always go towards blue I mean, like a turquoise yeah. blue is my favorite yeah. color. Yeah, I really like the blues. I just feel safer in a blue. <laughs> um, and all of these products are available at cherryontop.com. Yep, yep, yep. We um, yeah, these are they're still coming in. We don't have them in stock in stock. Yeah, but all the stencil butters should be in stock, and there are palette knives, the stencils we use. Mm -hmm. I think they're all in stock. Uh, Betsy asked if it, this is a flat pigment or if it has a shimmer, and it is flat. Mm -hmm. um, looks like a regular watercolor. Uh, I think I was using pixie powder, and that has a shimmer. Oh, yep. I don't remember who that's from, but those have a shimmer. But yeah, these are just a flat color. Yeah. Ooh. <gasps> Did you see that? <laughs> okay there's already Magic. water there and then i <laughs> powdered it some more and it just like goes out that is so fun i'm gonna try it a bit you can even pick up your surface too and like let things drip around mm -hmm. or maybe i should move into using doing the other background while this one dries oh yep kind of go back and forth mm -hmm. but this does dry very fast yeah. it's because it's just watercolor um it's just like evaporating water so it does dry pretty quick Especially when you use a heater. 
Um, Gail asked what I'm using to dry this with. It's uh, the heat tool from Ranger. Um, you can use a hair dryer or whatever other heat tool you have. Yeah. It just really comes in handy, yeah. especially if you're not very patient, like yes. letting things dry. Yeah. yeah. Or for classes when you need yeah. things to dry yeah. faster. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, usually you, you can do more than one at a time and just set one over to dry while you work on a different background. Yeah. That's a nice way to do it too. And you'll see my paper is kind of warping as, <laughs> this is kind of, just kind of, a lot. Um, it'll flatten out. Mm -hmm. Um, I can, after I'm all done with this and everything is dried, I can put some heavy books on it and it'll get flat mm -hmm. overnight. The media board is pretty nice it's yeah stiff. that stays flat does not warp love it i was gonna okay. use the dryer um, but gotta move faster than that <laughs> we need two dryers okay, here okay now i'm going to start with some of my stencil butters flatten this out so are you bit. gonna stay with cool colors i don't know or? um i wanted to have these flowers Mm. around the edges and then my words on top I'm not so Oops. let's see maybe if my flowers are yeah probably stay in the cool colors yeah and then maybe my text can be the purple Ooh. like your the darker color yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So maybe try to stay in these three. Good thing you dried that. <laughs> yes, that's really dry. Uh, yeah, Betsy says that dryer is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is, Betsy. Gail, it is very handy. Mm -hmm. Yes, very handy. Um, so you can kind of see this shimmer, or the stencil butter does have like mm -hmm. kind of a shimmery, um, I don't know, maybe even metallic-y yeah, look. Shiny. Uh, I would it even lays, call it like shiny. Yeah, it lays yeah. flat, but there is a little bit of like you can see it picking up the light. Yeah, it gets a little shiny. It's not like glittery. It's, no, it's and yeah, shiny. the texture is flat, but it's so it's so it's, fun. It's pretty. It. It's really pretty. Yes. I think um, I should probably tape this down so I don't here. Here you go. Wreck it. I usually don't um, even use tape. I just yeah put it on but if you're working on a stencil for like a longer time period yeah it's it's nice to yeah i'm going to try to hold it down and hope we don't move it gail asked for the best wait was it gail sorry I'm, i was trying to answer a question they asked what somebody. um somebody asked uh what company these are and they oh. are stencil butters from the crafters workshop um, we also use color sparks from the crafters workshop mm -hmm. and those and... might be under they're under ken oliver i think but they should mm -hmm. both show up under the crafters workshop yes i always forget to put the the on there mm -hmm. i usually just say crafters workshop mm -hmm. but technically it is the crafters workshop. and with my flowers i want to do like a a gradient on them Ooh. So thinking having the turquoise, maybe I should have done it the other way. <laughs> it's too late for too that. Late. Turquoise in the center, it is. Now my rainbow, I wonder how it's gonna show up with with purple? With purple. I don't know. Sometimes you just don't know until you try. So I'm gonna start with the crimson. It's a nice red. I'm gonna scoop this guy over. Are you using this right now? No. Okay. Okay. And it's always nice to have a few um, palette knives around so you don't have to keep washing them. Yeah. You can just wash them all together later. Um, and this literally just kind of goes on like butter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I, like, it's like yeah. the texture of warmish butter. I like. It's that. not like cold refrigerator like cold butter, stick of butter that you got to struggle with to get some butter on your toast no. it's like how do i want to do this nice so creamy i think i'll start um it's just yeah. going for it and 
and you can put it on as thin or thick as you want. Um, it'll dry faster mm -hmm. if it's um, thinner. Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit easier to remove the stencil if it's thinner. <laughs> if you put it on thick, it's it's going to be a little tricky to get it off. So I like to just kind of goop it on and then kind of scrape it off as yeah. we go. And like we'll both be using multiple colors on each stencil. Um, so it'll kind of look like what you have on the top, like what you see. Um, so like if I want, I'm getting some of this green in the center that will show up green when I pull off the stencil. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want it more of like a pure green, try not to mix your colors or just get like right to the edge of each color before. Or you can blend your colors more together. I'm not worrying about it too much and I'm just kind of <laughs> blending it. Just blend it in. Yeah. yeah. These blend really well. Yeah. Um, and you can just wipe it off with a paper towel and dip into your next color. There's see a little bit of yellow in here, Ooh. Jessica. Well, <laughs> just smear it into your next smear color. <laughs> That's okay. Yellow comes next in the rainbow. Yeah. See, I was preparing yes, for you. Preparing me. Yes. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna show up fine on the background. Yeah, because it's it's not blending in; it's mm -hmm. like sitting on top of it. Mm hmm. So it should be fine. Yeah, these are pretty um, opaque colors, so yeah, they should be good. It's and then I might give this to my daughter. She loves rainbows, mm -hmm. like obsessed um yeah I'm gonna do a little <clears throat> right. it's just so relaxing just spreading it really is butter yeah um I would say these are creamier than your typical texture paste mm -hmm. so yeah they're not as thick as texture paste yeah but you still get some You can still texture. get quite a bit of texture yeah. with them. Oh, well, Clint's watching. Hi, Hi Clint. Clint. <laughs> he works here. He likes to bug us and ask questions. Yeah. <laughs> no, we like questions. We like yeah. questions. Any questions today, Clint? Any questions. Or anybody who is Anybody Clint? else who's not Clint? Yeah, preferably anybody <laughs> other than <laughs> Who like ask the most random questions? <laughs> okay, I'm going in with my yellow. Oh, these colors are just so dreamy. Oh, I forgot about yellow. Maybe I'll add some yellow. Oh. Well, you could do like the center of your yeah. flowers yellow. That'd be cute. I don't really know what I'm doing in my center. Like, I should really... I bring in my colors? Oh. Do a different color? Rain each circle <laughs> in a different color. That's too complicated. That no. is. That would be a lot. <laughs> Trying to keep this a little bit more simple. Hmm. Uh, Betsy asked, what's the drying time on the butter? And it's I'd decently say quick. Maybe um, a half hour. Oh, to like be fully dry? To be fully dry. Yeah. It, it's usually like touch dry after like, I don't know, five, ten minutes. Yeah. Um, and it kind of depends how long or how thick you put it on yeah. too. Um, if you're putting it on thin, it really doesn't yeah. take that long. I'd, I'd say give it about a half hour unless you use your heat tool. Mm -hmm. Heat tool, maybe two minutes. Yeah. If you're working like on a big stencil like this, mm -hmm. it... By the time I get done over here, my, my first part is going to start drying. And you want to remove your stencil before it's all dry. Yeah. yeah so that's an important step. Be careful of that. And you don't want to ruin your stencil either. So you, uh, you should wash your stencil while it's still wet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for easier cleanup. Mm -hmm. Though it comes off pretty good. Yeah. Just water. I didn't even use any soap or anything last no. time. Just, yeah, whoosh, just some water. water. Look how blendy they are. Love it. Clint, how many coverages do you think you'd be able to get out of one jar of butter? Hmm? 
like a six well, by six stencil and a six by six project out of one jar you can get a lot i mean yeah it can just, there, there's I a mean, lot in here yeah it's kind of hard to tell because we haven't done like a whole like i've always used all of the colors right i've never used just one color um but i'd say especially if you apply it more thin mm. um yeah you could get i don't yeah. even know how to answer like in a number you could get a bit a bit a bit <laughs> you can get a bit a few a few, few projects yeah um teresa wants to know is the first time if we've used this paint i think no it was, we've used it well i mean in a video oh you mean have we taught it before this is the first time we've taught it i think yeah um, but we've used we've used this, these paints before yeah but i think this is the first video yeah you video these. using yeah. them we had um a virtual class a few weeks ago using these so what class was that? it was for something i know we've used them quite a bit but we used them before that too didn't we i don't i've ended up i mean we throw hmm? products in what? what they are new yes yeah yes they are pretty new yeah i love that blue it's red and the yellow. Ooh, okay, there's some red in my... <laughs> okay, that's okay. I'm just done with that one. I'm just going to... Don't feel like cleaning it. I guess we're done putting lids on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine. There's so much in here, it's not gonna. it's not going to dry out. Yeah. Well, right now. <laughs> yeah, right away. Especially when it's all thick in there. I love this turquoise. Okay, I'm going to start pulling off my stencils. Ooh. They actually held in place really well. Oh. I didn't use any yeah, like tape we... or anything. Mm -hmm. They just held on. Clint is asking, would you be able to add glitter or beads yeah. to the project? Yeah, I'd say yes and to glitter. Stick. Yes, before it dries, you yeah, can add. You could definitely add glitter. Yep. Beads, you'd have to apply it a bit thicker. Mm -hmm. um, and like stick them in there. And a yeah, bit. push yeah. them in. But yeah. yeah, I'd say yes to both beads and glitter. Yes, all of it. Add all of it in. Okay. Just Our water's getting very messy down here. Just let that soak. <laughs> That's what I like to say for like dishes. I'm just like, oh, I'll just let that one soak. Yeah, that one needs a soak. I don't want to do it. So this one's how did this? You can see so the nice. texture it got. Ooh. See the little bit of orange in my yellow. <laughs> I I like it. I like orange in there. All right, and I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. I still want to add my text on top of it, but I'll wait. I want it to be fully dry before then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm now. At the end of my rainbow purple. And then I guess I'm just going to re repeat my rainbow. All right. Sounds good to me. Now I'm going to move on to my six by six board. And I'm planning to use this stencil with it. Um, also, I'm I like the smell of these. Yeah, I don't know. Just when I always smell things, but like does it smell funny. Mm, not it as good as the like waxes. A, it smells like a painting. Yeah, the, <laughs> the Prima the wax. waxes smells oh, so good. good. I don't know why. I'd say these are. They smell okay. But they kind of like smell painty, but yeah. they don't smell like awful. Like some something we worked with smell awful. I forgot what it was now, but it's probably not good to <laughs> try smelling things. We don't <laughs> advise you do that. We'll just smell them for you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll let you know. We'll be your smell. Don't need to. All right, what do I want to do? I don't know. I think some yellow. You're ahead of me. I'm still in the first some one. Purple. Well, that's because you're doing the whole rainbow. Yeah, true. Um, I think I want to try to do kind of like a sunset with these Ooh. flowers. Yes, that would be pretty. Oh, got some blue on there. So maybe some yellow. On the bottom. You put that really slowly. Yellow. Oh, I'm trying to picture what a sunset looks like. <laughs> they come in all different colors. Yeah. So yellow yeah, will be fine. 
and then move up a row for some purple. And why is there so much green on the orange top? I don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't know you. how that would happen. I blame you. That's a mystery. Okay. These I don't want to go quite as crazy, so I think I'm just going to use the paintbrush to paint in the uh, color. Yeah. I still don't know what to do for my middle. If you have any ideas, let me know. I feel like a yellow. I could do a yellow middle. Mm -hmm. Yellow, maybe a little bit of... I'm trying to look at the colors you use the least. Yellow. And... Yellow. Yeah, it's a yellow, mm -hmm. and then maybe mm -hmm. a little specks orange. of orange or red or something. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, that's such a pretty purple. I know, isn't it? It's so pretty. And I'm going to blend them together. This board does hold up really nice. It does. I, that's why I like this board. So. Yeah. And the blue. Also really pretty. I'd say purple and blue are probably my favorite colors mm -hmm. out of these. Mm -hmm. Actually, this yellow is really pretty, though, too. <laughs> <laughs> They're just all Don't really make pretty. me choose. <gasps> you don't have to. You can use them all. Use them. use them all. That's fun. Okay. Oh, that was pretty. That's a pretty easy background. Oh, Clint says yellow and a little glitter. Hmm. Good idea. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, some glitter to the yeah, I could see that. Go get me some glitter. What color? I don't know. Do we have some over there? Yeah, we have a lot of glitters. Mm -hmm. You can surprise me. Or even the um what are they? Beads. The little bead, the micro beads? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You want those? Bring both. Okay. I don't know. Almost done my rainbow. Though I'm awkwardly like green. I don't have enough room for blue and purple, but that's okay. Okay. It came with options. <laughs> These could be cool. They're like little diamondy things. Glass glitter. Ooh. Micro beads. Regular glitter. Nice. More glitter. Where? Oh, the, where am I gonna put all this? <laughs> Hang on, I'm having butter all over me. Oh, okay. I will use one of those. Okay. I'm not sure which one yet, but yeah, they might kind of overlap my blue over here, my red, or something. Cause I'm really at an awkward point here. That's okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, you could do a little purple in between, right? Is that what comes next? Oh, you're that color? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just making this up as I go. Mm -hmm. That's usually what we do. Yep. There, is that sunset? Yeah, that's sunset -y. Be a little more. Oh, I think blue. I missed my turquoise. Where did I have that? After your blue. After my blue. Hmm. A little smidge in there. All right. I really need to get going on my center before this all dries on. Clint says he loves Ken Oliver. I also yes. love Ken Oliver. He's we took, fun. Yeah, we, took we took a, a couple class, of classes. Yeah, with him. And yeah, they were very fun. He's very fun. He has a great energy about him. Yeah. Um, we did in person class, well, this is like two years ago, mm -hmm. um, at Notions Commotion. That was really fun. And then we also and then we took just did a, a virtual, virtual one class, yeah. like a couple weeks ago with this stuff. That was fun. Though in person is a little bit more exciting. Yeah. But these days you get what you get. Well, you can do, I mean, we've been doing a lot with our virtual classes. Mm -hmm. uh, right? You, As you guys are watching <laughs> us right now. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. I do miss our um, in-person classes. Yeah. We usually do those uh, throughout the year. And we kind of got started back up, but then we weren't getting a ton of people coming. And then more COVID. And, and more COVID. And yeah. then shutdowns. And then we're like, you know, let's, let's just, just yeah, we take move a break it from in-person. Move it all virtual from now. And we've been having fun with the virtual classes, Yeah. Too. They're easier to plan out when you know, mm -hmm. like, exactly what you're going to do. I'm getting a lot of blue in my center. Let that dry. It's actually almost already dry. Yeah, mine is starting to dry, too. And now my flowers. What color? Hmm. Well, Maybe you want them to stand out a little I'll bit, do right? reverse, like oh. yellow to blue, like oh, yellow, purple, like opposite, blue. like got. opposite. That would be pretty. Does that make sense? Yes. Does that make sunset sense? Sunset sense. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, that sounds. Look what I'll do. My center is looking a little a little crazy. You know, I probably should have did it first. Oh. Well, yeah. You live and you learn. Yeah. Next time. Because I'm getting a lot of oh you my, past the yellow? colors in here. No, yeah, I'm there's trying a, to work on my center. There's a lot of colors in that yellow. <laughs> Because well, I'm going to cover it up with glitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put glitter in it, and it will look beautiful. Let's see what I have. Whoop. What color? I'll just be over here looking for glitter. <laughs> oh. Hold on. Use some of this. This is um Prima, our ingredients glass glitter, which I actually think is out of stock, but there are other similar products. I like this because it's like bigger and thick. chunkier. Yeah, it's kind of like thick glitter. And so it's a little bit easier to work with. And I gotta be quick about putting this on. Oh, I probably should remove the stencil first. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well Well now you well now you know. Well now it'll I'm just I feel doing like it'll, it wrong for our class. Yeah, people. I feel like it'll actually be okay because um Maybe it won't get because yeah, you won't everywhere. have to pick out glitter from anywhere that you yeah. don't want it. It'll just lift up with the stencil. Yeah, okay, we'll see how this goes. Yep. I haven't used glitter with the stencil bars yeah. before, so we'll see how it is. I like it though; it's covering up my messy yellow. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna kind of like just tap it in very lightly. To make sure it's like sticking in there good. I feel like I'm gonna lose a little bit of it, but that's okay. Do that. I don't know about my yellow at the top here. <laughs> well, it doesn't look really yellow. Yeah, I think I'm gonna turn it into a mucky color. <laughs> it's okay. You know, we didn't bring any wipes out, did we? Mm -mm. Well, that would have been handy. Mm -hmm. I'll just go into our water bucket. Um, that is green, let's by see. the way. What color did I get? Oh, it's okay. Uh, I should have <laughs> kept it yellow. I should have kept it yellow. <laughs> That's okay. You can go you know, over it. Let it. Should I try scraping it off? Oh. Well, I was going to say just get a paintbrush and go over it with your yellow. I should have kept the yellow. 
in today's class mm -hmm. of what not to do. I feel like I'm gonna scrape it off. Is it gonna be dry though? Yeah. Oop. Well, how are you gonna get the stencil back on? I'll just put the stencil back on. <laughs> Okay. okay. While she's doing that, I'm very carefully, very carefully removing my stencil. And it's, um, the first part of it is definitely already starting to dry. All right. I think that's okay. I picked up a little bit of my paint. So I'm going to add, like, my watercolor I picked up a little bit of. So Ooh. I'm going to add a little bit more. Look at that. So fun. Ooh, that is fun. I did pick a, up a little bit of my watercolor. It must not have been all the way dry right there. Yeah. That's okay. I can fix that. <gasps> yeah, that's pretty. Good idea, Clint. And this stencil's too big for our water bath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> smoosh it on oh, in there. Smoosh it in. Okay. All right, that is, where did my stencil go? <laughs> Good luck finding. This is a mess. Ooh. We're very messy crafters. Who else is a messy crafter? Let us know. Put that in there. So I need this to be completely clean Yeah. when I, so I wanted to flip it and kind of do the other side. Oh, okay. We got a little bit of yellow over here. That's okay. Okay. Well, easy to fix watercolor mistakes, at least. Mm -hmm. I got a little bit of yellow over here somehow. I don't know how. No. I'm just going over it. I just have to place the stencil exactly <laughs> on top. And don't ruin the rest of it. Either. And don't ruin the dry? rest of it. No. Should it? Well, you should try it. First. Okay, maybe I can do this. Uh... I'll dry it. I'll just dry it. <laughs> Won't even risk it. All right. Here's my finished piece. Look how fun that is. You can you see that glitter on there. Mm. Ooh. That's cool. You could put. Emma. Oh, yes. I can write Emma. Yeah. Oh, she would love this. Yeah. And she'll probably put it, like, on her desk. That is collecting a lot of things. <laughs> she loves crafts. She loves papers and drawing and mm -hmm. all the things. Runs in the family. It does. It does run in the family. Kat says that we are giving her some great ideas. Good. Good. So you can... That's our goal. Yes. For classes. Where am I going to put this? I don't know. <laughs> you have some paint on the underside, so. I know. Okay. There. I finished my first piece. <gasps> now I'm going to do the little guy. Okay. Oh, yeah. I have time. <laughs> That's so weird. What color should I do? Um... Okay. It's not completely dry, but I'm hoping Ooh, it's dry enough, dry enough that I won't ruin it completely. What my apron's doing? Benching. Um. Okay, where's my purple hmm. end? Yeah, I'm gonna go like yellow, yellowish. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go back with my first idea, yellow. And I won't muddy it up. I just sometimes get nervous and then I try something that I know is probably going to be bad, but I just have to try it. Yeah, sometimes you just don't know. You just have try. to try it. And then I try it and then I'm often like, oh yeah, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Let's not do that again. <coughs> Bless you. Sorry. I think I got powder up my nose. Mm. Woo! Okay. <laughs> we probably could use some new water. Mm. Water's like black. Okay, 
That's pretty. Okay, this one I used. What did I just use? Cam Camboge? How do you say that? Camboge? Don't ask me that. Okay, this is how it's spelled. <laughs> I used that one and Scarlet. Those look pretty together. And okay. I'm going to use um, my brush that has blue on it. <laughs> hmm. Am I happy? I'm happier. 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 Okay. I think it stands out yeah, a lot. Yeah, it stands out better. I think you need to bring down the yellow a little bit more. Yeah. I'm going to just try to... Getting the colors right is always the tricky part. Right. This is making like a nice... There's like a pink in here, kind of. It must oh, be from yeah. the scarlet. Yeah. Pinky. Nice. Okay. Oh, Kat says gam gambos. That's not even. Sorry, Kat. That doesn't even help me. Gam what? <laughs> gambos with a Z H. <laughs> I still can't say it. I'm sorry. Gambos. Why don't they do like simpler names? Like yellow. Yellow. <laughs> Dark yellow. Deep yellow. Deep yellow. <laughs> These are words we can read. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh man. We just have issues. I like how this looks. Yeah, that's a nice background. I like this pink in there. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay, so here is my nice warm background, and this is on the six by six um, media board, which is nice. Like it's it's thick, but it's not like super thick. You can see it. <laughs> now um, I'm gonna wait for that to dry. Well, I'll probably I should probably dry it. Yeah, and I, I mean it already looks mostly dry. It's getting yeah, it's getting. Um, I kind of like this. What else? Where is that wordy one script? I was oh, you're using it right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Well, I still have to finish my flower. Okay. No, I Unless... think I might do this first. Or should this I do it still second? a little wet? I could go. Mm -hmm. I could. So you're gonna use sound first? I can use the other one and then hand it's it back to you. With a zzz mixed. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out. It's not a zzz kind of sound. It's a sh with a zzz. Gamboge. Gamboge? Gamboge? Like that? Aha! I has, there's a head nod from the tech person. <laughs> We're learning together. Thanks, Kat. Okay, well, I was going to use the dryer. <laughs> it's already dry! Yeah, that's good. Yeah, actually, it's, it's pretty good. It's already, yeah. That's what I really like about these. Oh, uh, Kat said, yes! <laughs> Got it. Got it, Kat. Are Make there sure. any other words we should try to uh, read? Yo, anything else? Scarlet, I can do that. Marigold. Turquoise. Terra ter Verde. Wisteria. Make sure you always put your lids back on because um, it's powder. You know, it will it will spill. Not like, not yeah. like embossing powder like gets everywhere. Yeah. Because you have to kind of squeeze it, tap it a little bit. But always good to put tops on. <laughs> Don't follow this example right here. <laughs> yeah, and it'll uh, lengthen like your the, the shelf life if mm -hmm. you can always keep the uh, the shelves on or the the tops on the tops on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what color going down to that. Hmm. This is. Hmm. I can tell this is a little bit uh, wet still, but it's pretty dry on the top. Hmm. Like it's dry to the touch, but it's still a little squishy. And I'd say, let's see, how long? That was maybe 
this is set for maybe 10 15 minutes yeah and it's like yeah dry the touch yeah. Mine I'm just is, trying to dry it a little bit deeper. Mine is not dry to a touch. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> or at least my end part of it is not. I just want it dry enough to where when I put my second stencil on top of it, mm -hmm. it won't smoosh it. Right. I'm smooshing. Okay. It's not completely dry, but think it'll be good enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm using a brick kind of stencil. Is that what this one's called? Brick? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, um, what's is that? Oh, the Dilusions um, brick stencil? Nope. No? No, it's the Crafter's Workshop. Oh, okay. Yep. Dilusions also has a brick stencil stamp yeah. set. Yeah, there are a few different kind of brick ones. Okay, it's not dry enough yet. <laughs> a little picked up on my stencil. Uh, if you're using a heat gun, you don't want to hold it too long in one place mm -hmm. um, because it will kind of bubble. Mm. It'll be okay. It's just it'll have a little bubble. heat bubble. I mean, you can push it back down, but it just won't have the, such a flat look over it. Um, I'm using the turquoise and the ocean blue. I'm not going to like, mix those them. Are pretty colors. That'll stand out a lot. I really like the turquoise. I know, me too. It's probably my favorite one. Yeah. And it looks really nice with the ocean, too, if you, mm -hmm. you want to mix them. Uh, that's what my other project was. It was just those two. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Oop. Let's try again. Let's see Take if that's step. dry enough. I probably should tape this one down, but okay. And I'm trying this. I actually haven't tried doing a stencil, like with a stencil butter on top of another stencil. Mm. So I'm hoping it'll still show up legible enough. Mm -hmm. Um, but it'll probably be a little bit trickier to get inside of, like, the little divots. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? But. Might as well try. Might as well try. We do a lot of trying here. Yep. We just don't know how it's going to look, and so. So, yeah. Might as well try. Might as well try it. Ooh, yeah, I like this blue. Mm-hmm. Isn't that fun? That's cool. Very cool. I got a little bit on my edge, but that's okay. I'm just gonna wipe that. Let's see, should I do this with purple? I think I was originally going to do purple. It looks more turquoisey in person. On camera, it looks kind of bluer, but oh yeah, yeah, it's in it's person a, a deeper bit turquoise. Yeah. yeah. Should I, like I do that. yellow? Yellow or purple? Purple. That's what I was going to I go with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I should just stick with. My first, my first idea is more first often. Ideas. Yeah. Because it's often when I don't that I'm like, oh, should have, I should have done that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Purple we go. I'm so messy. This stuff is really easy, though, to get off yeah. your hands. Like I'm just dunking in water. Though a sink would be easier, but with clean water. Yeah, not just a <laughs> brown is, water green and... tub. Yeah. Well, but it is helpful having a tub. Yes. Um, Especially if you're doing a lot of stenciling. Yeah, and you don't want to, because you don't want to just leave your stencils because it can get, right. it can yeah. ruin them and dry them. And, um, but yeah, if you just have a little tub, make or sure like they're like all the way in there. Yeah. Something. So they stay wet. Mm hmm. And, and then, then you clean can clean them up at so the end. Easier. That's like the worst part of crafting. Mm, the clean the up. Clean up. Ooh. Yeah. I don't 
I don't, yeah, the cleanup kind of sucks, but I like organizing mm. craft supplies. Yeah, I, I do don't too. Know. That's just... I have to be kind of in the mood for it, though. Yeah, too. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this is covering pretty nicely. Mm -hmm. You want well, the words? I want the words. Do you want purple? Let me, let me see. I might need to. <laughs> what else then do we have? you wouldn't have to wash it. Um, I also have some Tim Holtz dots. These are fun, too. Ooh, dots with bricks. Could be cool. I like those. Um, some kind of leafy something. Some more leafy things. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I still kind of want words. Well, do you want purple words? Because then you're going to have to wash it. I might do purplish blue. Or do you just want to wash it anyways? I don't know. Okay, let's see how my words turned out. Mm. Go. Something, something happened there. That's okay. Yeah, well, yeah, it's I like it's where I um did like texture paste on top oh. of texture paste that it got um yeah, a little too textured. So too it's harder to much read. better. Yeah. But that is I like okay. It the purple yeah. pops. Yeah. I like it. I'm a okay with that. I'm gonna kind of. I'm actually gonna kind of put my dots over that. So, oh my God. Uh, what stencil is that with the words? Got not small. Hmm. Is that um? That might be a Tim Holtz one. Or. Nope. It's a Crafters Workshop. Oh, Crafters Workshop. We will find it and link it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that one's called. It could be called like script something. Yeah, or text or <laughs> or yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's by the crafters workshop. So if you look at that company and look at those stencils, you should be able to find it. This is getting like tacky, so it's close. Yeah, it's dry enough. I'm gonna kind of layer this dot stencil over it slightly. Very slowly. And I'm gonna do some dots. Um, I don't know if that's <laughs> purple. Okay. Well, there's that. You know what I'll probably do with this is rip it up and put it in an art journal. Mm -hmm. Or like cut it down to whatever size. Use that as like background sort of thing. Yeah. Because I feel like that'd be a cool background. Okay. Back to this guy. What are you putting on that? I was just going to do the same oh, pencil, just like flip it. Oh, yeah. So it looks different. But it's actually the same. Yes. Good use of stencils. And flip I'm, it over. And I'm have... going to put it a little bit lower. And then, yeah. Brand new nobody will ever know. Except, except everyone for who's everyone. Yeah. <laughs> this live knows my secret. I like this dot stencil. Yeah. It's funny because you think like, oh, I can totally make dots. No, I can't. Like, I try to and they look big and they're not the same. And these are nice because they're like different size dots. Mm. So I like that. Can you open that for me? Yeah. Oh, my God. Because I did not tape again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to add a tiny bit of blue in here to the purple. That mixes in pretty good too. Okay. 
I could butter all day. Yeah. This is this is nice. It's just so relaxing. And it's yeah, it really is. It's very peaceful. Mm -hmm. And it's so quiet in this room. I could just sit here, stencil away. With our bottles. Butters. With our bottles. <laughs> With our bottles. Butters. Okay, I like that purple. But I smudged my brick over here. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh well. Maybe I can take this more brick. No. 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 I'll just leave it. I got my dots and my brick. But okay, now I want my words. I cleaned them. Oh. Yes. Now I don't know where I want them. Okay. Oh, you found the stencil. <laughs> the link to that stencil is now there in the comments. To the scripty word one. There we go. Ooh. It just looks like one continuous stencil. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, except for that purple I got right there. <laughs> Don't mind that. It's always a little smudge somewhere. Yeah. I could see if I can clean it up. Probably not. Probably dried. You could clean it up if it... Oh, I just <laughs> smeared it. You could clean it up if it wasn't dry. Uh-huh. Or just kind of oh, like mix it in. Or just mix it in, make it a bigger blob. <laughs> just play with it. Actually, it's not bad. Okay. Let's smear it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's this one. I like it. Oh. Opposites. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, mine are done. Well. <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm just putting on my words. I want to make sure I don't smudge those. There we are. Um, I'm to put it on. Guess I'll just sit here cleaning some stencils. <laughs> Might as well. Maybe this giant one that's taking up the whole <laughs> thing that had You're the glitter stuck in me. <laughs> I need an apron that like covers body apron. Yeah, everything. Jumpsuit apron. Jumpsuit apron. I need a cleaner. Um... Do you have any more clean paper towels? One. I've used all uh, mine. Two. One and a half. One and a half. Always good to have paper towels around you. Mm -hmm. More than you think you'll need. We always use all of ours. I think. Yeah. And then we think we'll have enough. Yep. Oh, but now I'm going to need paper towels to dry these. Nah. Do you have any paper towels? <laughs> no. <gasps> okay. I'm kind of just putting my words here. I should probably tape it down, but I'm yes, I should because it's moving. <laughs> uh, painter's tape works really great, mm -hmm. won't stick to your surface, mm -hmm. except if you're still kind of wet, it will mm -hmm. be a little bit harder to get up, or it might take up some of your paper. Like on my previous one, but well, that's okay. I have my what paper towels. <laughs> just need maybe I'll just heat gun dry some paper towels. <laughs> so I'm going in with the orange over my words because I kind of want them to blend in a little bit. Mm. Yeah. So if you want your stencil to blend in, mm -hmm. use the same color as your background. If you mm -hmm. want to stand out, use opposite. Yeah. Yeah. This stencil is definitely a little trickier to use. Yeah. It's so 
small, small and fragile. I like it. I like scripty stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice look. Even if, like, there's a lot of stencils that are scripty that can't even read. Yeah. But yeah. It's, it's, it's like it's just, just like the nice. look of it. Yeah. It has a nice look. Okay, I added a little bit of yellow in here, too. Hmm. Just to Yeah, I really like how you can up. just add a little bit of another color to it. And it, and it just, yeah, it yeah, totally brings it a new color. Yeah. Okay, I think that's good. And we're going to do the lift very carefully. Ooh. Move both your tape first, <laughs> and then slowly lift up a stencil. Oh, nice. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Like it's it's enough to like see but mm -hmm. um yeah it's not like popping out at you either you can kind of see that in the camera <laughs> fine okay well that's all we have for today i mean we could keep stenciling and buttering Forever. all day <laughs> i'm still having fun <laughs> yeah i could go on and on i love these colors i love these butters this is my favorite yeah, that's my favorite. There's um, also a pink that we don't have here, but that's a pretty pink. Oh, yeah. yeah um, I like the pink, too. Actually, I like this. Is it lime chartreuse? This yes. is a pretty color, too. And her yellow that has a little... Yeah, don't look at the yellow. Rachel, other colors. <laughs> look at what she did to our yellow. I didn't do it. I might have done a little bit. We'll just call it Rachel. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for joining. Um, Our next class is watercolor what is it's a it? spring oh, yeah, watercolor spring flower watercolor scene it's really fun relaxing beginner mm -hmm. friendly mm -hmm. um yeah so we'll be doing that next friday yep. so be sure to follow us on social media and um tag your projects too and tag us tag us on your projects on social media so we can see them and we will see you next time bye